Hey guys, so today I found a huge duffel bag for traveling. The bag is 22 inches in uh, width and 12 inches, a little over 12 inches in its height. It is so deep and wide. Let's take a look at it. This plaid bag is perfect for traveling. It has a pocket here. <laughs> Somebody always leaving me something behind. <laughs> a dollar. 60. Feel like it was some more in there. A dollar seventy, child. <laughs> anyway, it is so large inside. It has an inside pocket with the zipper. No name. Handles are in pretty good condition. It has a little doodad right there. But you know I'll be able to fix that up. Got some little stragglers hanging around. But this thing is big. The handles are in good shape. And it has the print of a bullberry. You can see the man on the horse with his knife, stick, sword. And it's all over. What else you can see is there's a lot of scuffing. I don't know if you can see that scuffing. Some scuffing right here. A whole lot of scuffing right here and a whole lot of scuffing right here. It appeared to have had shoulder strap, but it didn't come with one. And I did look for it. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, inside it has the plate that goes in the bottom to keep the bag sturdy, which I love. So I'm gonna watch this, and when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to get, how to remove these. Be right back. Oh, and I forgot to show you underneath the bottom. There's some scuffs and things that needs to be cleaned on that as well. So, and the handle, the zippers are broken, but you know I'm gonna fix that up too. They're broken. So, let's get to it. So, I came back. I decided to... To share this with you before I wash it. Since it's already going to have chemicals on it. So, I have the bag right here. And what you're going to use, normally you would get these type of skid marks and scuff marks on your shoes and stuff. You're going to use some fingernail polish remover with acetone in it. And immediately whatever, whether it's a shoe, a jacket with scuff marks on it, sneakers, you want to instantly wash this off once you get the scuff mark removed. So you're going to need that and, of course, some cotton balls or cotton swabs. Saturate your cotton ball really good. And then just go rub just like that. Look at that coming off.
Vamos lá. So what I'm gonna do, I'll do another one for you. A little close up. And there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish removing the scuff marks off and wash it. And I'll bring you back with it stuffed. All right. See you when I finish. So I'm now finished sewing or stitching up. And so what I'm going to do now is get all the stragglers. Here's one right here. And I believe it was one more. Oh, here it is. With you. And now I'm going to wash her up. Hey guys, I am back and I'm back to share with you the outcome of the plaid bag. Oh my god, it looks pretty good considering. So let's take a look. Right now I have it stuffed. So here's the front. It's still drying. The sides. The other side. Handles. And underneath, some of those scratches just won't come off. That's just how it is. Oh, and let's. Look for that spot where it was sewn. Let's see if he can find it. Let's see. Can you find it? <laughs> well, there it is. My great find. Which is a plaid bag. Put you in the mind of it's actually stuffed i got some this is not my original paper stuff it's uh i have some material in there so that it can absorb it and help it dry really really fast um but yeah there it is put you in the mind of 
Burberry. And I do have a pair of Burberry shoes. Let's match it up. Let's see. So while I was at it, I grabbed my Burberry trench. In the bag. And my loafers. There you go. So let's see if it it can pass. So y'all, there you have it. My plaid bag that I scored for $5. It's a big old travel bag too. Look how big it is. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.